how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update to Partners in Cream. This was created by the lovely Steph Lines and Delaine from Outward Processing. Both wonderful ladies and I'll have them both linked down below. Um, I haven't updated this. Uh, definitely not last night, maybe two months. But look at we have great progress because of that. I didn't wear a lot of makeup this summer, but I really tried to focus in on some things that I felt were close to being done. So, first up is, so this, mm, I'm calling it an empty, okay? Because I use an awful lot of it and I'll hopefully have progress pictures up for you. This is the Kiko Milano lipstick. Um, can't remember what the shade was, it's kind of rubbed off now, I think. Um, and I think they usually do it in numbers anyway. Yeah, don't know. But anyway, it was like a burnt, um, can I get my little bit out maybe? It was a lovely shade actually as a blush. I've been using this as a blush basically all year. And it's kind of like, a, nearly gives you that, you've been kissed by the sun, maybe got a little bit burnt, but not really, you know what I mean, that kind of look. And I really enjoyed it as that. But when I got down to here, I said, okay, well, let's dig it out then and let's put it into a compact and um, try and melt it down and use it that way. So I had this little uh, compact and I melted it down into here. But I lack an alas. Whatever happened when I melted down, like there's nothing coming off. It is just turned into pure wax. There's nothing happening here. Like there's nothing, barely nothing coming off No. I can try and just watch there, nothing. So unfortunately, that was a bit of a miss. Uh, it didn't work out for me, and that's okay. You know, I, I used it down to the plastic and then decided to dig out what was left to try and melt it down into a compact and use it, uh, use get every last bit out of it. But I'm okay with, you know, the fact that that didn't work out. Once I got down to the plastic, I'm happy with that. So I'm calling it good, I'm calling it done. But it's a pity, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe there was just more wax than not in the bottom of the tube i don't know very bizarre like not like i can't I'm digging in here no not happening so you know it's all good I'm, I'm still i'm still really happy that i finished the lipstick and i used it as a cream blush all year long uh, i don't think i'll be doing that next year because i have a lot of cream blushes in my collection probably way not probably i do have way more than i did at the start of last year so, um, this is silly now for me to keep doing when I'm not working on my cream blushes. I hope that makes sense. Wow, I've been sick for the last few days. I'm a little bit discombobulated, but it's all good. Uh, next up is Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Cashew. Again, this has been in since the start of the year. I thought it was never going to feckin' end. Got lots of bits on it. And I have used this 82 times probably more than that because the last two months I've had it down uh, next to me downstairs on the couch and I've been using it as a lip gloss or not as a lip gloss that's what it is I've been using it as a lip balm there we go um but yeah she didn't she empty she all gone of the stopper out and you can see right down to the bottom there um I won't repurchase this when I first put this in I thought oh this is one of my favorite lip glosses I absolutely adore it but as time went by I was going, oh God, I'm sick to the back teeth of this feckin' gloss. I don't like it anymore. And I find that so interesting in project planning. With some products that I think I love, I put them into a project and when you have to use it every single day, you go, hmm, don't love it as much as I thought. Or vice versa, you put something in that's maybe on a chopping block or something and you go, oh my God, I love this product. I didn't think to use it this way or I didn't think I'd like using it in this capacity. You know, you, you just, because you have it in a project, you try to think outside the box and find ways to use it. So I just find that the most interesting part of project planning. But look, it's done. Huzzah! Come on. Another, uh, not another gloss. It's probably the only gloss this year, isn't it? It is. It's a gloss out of my collection. And it's another item done in this project. Next up is my Colourpop 
um super shock shadow in the shade lightning lightning bug sorry and my goal on this is to hit pan if you saw a couple of updates back i realized i had two of these in my collection and the one i had originally put into this project was really old and drying up and just wasn't very good so i decided to get rid of it and bring in this one instead and my goal is to is to hit pan on it but in total i have used it 13 times i'm lucky for some uh, i haven't hit pan yet but i'm being very conscious to really swirl around and not just kind of dig in um so that one is staying in and i think as well i'll use it a bit more as well now coming into autumn because i like things a bit more glistening glisten shimmery <laughs> glittery let's go with those words and um it's a nice autumn color so i'm looking forward to that next up is um I had some items that I had in for just to use it for the summer kind of thing uh, because the shades are very summer leaning I need to have a little bit of color on my skin to be able to use them one is the master strobing uh, illuminating highlighter in the shade 200 uh, medium nude glow and I'll just bring you down to the plastic. So I've used a good lot of this again hopefully I'll have pictures up to show you the um, the difference but this is what it's looking like. It's quite a golden -y kind of colour. And I've quite enjoyed using it this summer, I have to say. But this now can go back into my collection. And hopefully next summer I'll get to finish it up. Um, in its place, I'm bringing in back in, because this was in earlier in the year. I'm bringing back in the same product, but in the shade of 100, which is uh, light iridescent. And I'll just show you to the plastic where it is. So good, you know, there's a lot of that used up. So hopefully I can get it used up at the end of the year. And hopefully you can see it is quite a lighter shade than the, the other one, obviously. Um, so this now coming into autumn and winter will be more my, um, a colour suited to my skin tone. Um, so my goal is to completely finish this now. Um, so that is coming in. Also another usage goal, I've been trying to um, kind of rotate through my cream bronzers and I had the XX Revolution um, cream bronzer in the shade Inspire. Oh, I'm a bit twisted, I was turning the page because I haven't really used this one on the other page. Uh, by the way, the gold one I used 23 times this summer and I used 1.4 grams, which is fantastic. Happy days. And then this is the cream bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I've actually noticed that this, this bronzer on a, on a very low makeup day, I will happily just use this and some like Becca brightening under eye thingy cream. <laughs> um maybe a cream blush maybe a cream you know not actually need a foundation because this actually works really well as a base not all over the face i'm not really explaining this well i'm so sorry um just like where you would use bronzer but there's coverage to it as well does that make sense i hope it makes sense without looking like tangled or dirty or well I'm not doing a good job of explaining myself today. I do apologise. But this one looks like we've got a bit of a dip going. I'm thrilled. I used this 35 times this summer. And I used 2.37 grams. So I'm really happy with that. That I got that much use out of this. Still smells good. And um, I shall put this away now for another while. And I'm going to bring in another one to work on for a little while. And the one I'm bringing in is from Primark and it is the PS Bronze Whip Velvet Finish Cream Bronzer. And this is what this one looks like. And this is usually a better shade for me in the winter time. Um, so this is coming in and it's just to use literally for the, the autumn winter kind of season. And I'll see how I get on with it, how much. I'd love if I could hit jar. That would be great. I'd love that. Um, so we shall see um, how we get on with that. So. Also then coming in to replace the two items that I have finished, I am bringing in this one first. This is really vexed me. Mm, so annoying. Basically, this is the Embryolet. Embryolet. Mm, I was probably that wrong. Uh, La Crème Concentré. Oh my God. If there's any French people watching, I apologize profusely. Um, this is... Pretty well known in the kind of makeup world as being a great primer and moisturiser. But basically, I don't know if you can see, but the packaging has actually opened on me. 
John. Hate that with metal packaging. Why it does that, I don't know. Very annoying. But anyway, that means that I need to start cracking on this and really get some good use out of it. So I'll be using it both as a primer and as a moisturizer. So like even days that I'm not wearing makeup, essentially I'll be wearing this anyway. Does that make sense? Not like I'll be using it double. Is Ruth making any sense to anybody out there today? Because she sure should ain't making sense to herself. What I'm trying to say is, the days that I'm wearing makeup, it'll be moisturizer and primer in one. Does that make sense? And the days that I'm not wearing makeup, it'll just be moisturizer. I won't be like putting on moisturizer and then putting it on again as primer. All of that to say I'll be using it daily. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> somebody send help um goal is to finish it because like i said now that the air is getting into it i'm not happy about it at all so yeah and it wasn't because of this guy i only put this in he's so cute <laughs> deb sent me him to the court i love him um i only put him on today and it was already oozing out so i'm so annoyed because <laughs> it's a big tube too. I bought a big tube. bought that in France this year. It's 75 mil. So yeah, goal is to use this up before the end of the year. And then the last item coming in is from Stila. It is one of their glitter and glows uh, liquid eyeshadow and it is in the shade Embellish. And I haven't used this at all and I want to get some use out of it. And these kind of products I don't tend to use in the summer much but I do love to use them in the winter over um, eye looks. So let's give you a bit of source. This feels a bit dry. Oh, I'm not the notorious for that, but God, I haven't used it really. Oh no. No. Don't be drying me already. Oh no. I'm going to have to rehydrate this, guys. Hope you can see it there. My God, I literally only opened it to swatch it. How does that happen? Like, I'd fair enough if you opened it every single day and it dried out, but. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to have to get. And draw a line in there and we just hydrate it and it'll be fine but yeah this is coming in anyway i want to use it obviously since it's drying out try and get as much use as i can out of it before the end of the year um but yeah that is my <laughs> disaster of an update i apologize profusely but i know you don't mind and i know you understand and i know you're all amazing and i love you all so much um how are you getting on with this project? How are you feeling coming in now to the tail end of the year? I feel like I have a real push on now to try and get as much finished as I can. Um, within reason. I'm not going to be like using products stupidly just to say I've used them up. I want to use them organically as well, you know what I mean? But I want to be focused on them if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know how you're getting on down below. And hopefully I will chat you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slon.